You can set up Exchange to let your users sync Microsoft contacts and events with Salesforce using Lightning Sync. This video shows you how to complete setup from the Office 365 Admin Center. Before you begin, make sure you've already created a new mailbox in Office 365 to be the service account. Then, we'll walk you through these steps. First, we'll give that service account impersonation privileges. Then, we'll test what we've set up so far. Let's get started. First, log in to Office 365 as an admin and go to the Admin Center. Next, click Admin Centers and then Exchange. Now click Recipients. Confirm that the service account you created is available. It's there. Good. Now we're ready to grant our service account impersonation privileges. Click Permissions and then create a role group. Let's call this one Salesforce Sync Role Group. Now, give the group one role called Application Impersonation. Then, we want to give it one member, which is the service account we created ahead of time. Click Save. And now you can see the Salesforce Sync role group has application impersonation for its member, the service account we created. Next, we're ready to test that we've set up a connection between Office 365 and Salesforce using a test found on Microsoft's website called the Remote Connectivity Analyzer. Before we start testing, wait at least five minutes after you set up your service account. Otherwise, you could see a failed connection test, even though you may have set up the connection correctly. When five minutes have passed, we can begin testing. To run the Remote Connectivity Analyzer, let's open a browser and go to testconnectivity.microsoft.com. Let's test that the service account that you set up on Office 365 is successfully impersonating. On the Exchange Server tab, select Service Account Access Developers. Click Next. Enter these parameters carefully. A mistake could result in inaccurate test results. Type the email address for one of your Exchange users. Type the username and password for the service account that you created and gave impersonation privileges to. Leave Use Auto Discover and Test Predefined Folder selected. Choose Calendar or Contacts because Lightning Sync can sync those. Select Use Exchange Impersonation, and for Impersonated User, type the same email address as you did for Target Mailbox. Do not put the service account down there. Select I Understand, and if prompted, enter the verification text. Now, perform the test. This can take 3 seconds, it can take a little over 30 seconds, depending on various details. When the test is complete, you'll get a report on how the connection performed. Here it shows the test was successful with warnings. Warnings are acceptable and don't necessarily mean that there's a problem with your service account setup. The most important thing is that you get a successful report rather than a failed one. So, how do you know whether you should be concerned about the test warnings? Let's expand all. Scroll down to the bottom of your report. Ultimately, we want to see that for the user we tested, Matthew, a new mail item was created and then deleted. That verifies that the service account was able to impersonate Matthew correctly. Now that you've set up and tested your Exchange service account, your Salesforce admin can use the service account credentials to finish setting up Lightning Sync from Salesforce. For complete details about setting up Lightning Sync for Exchange, see the following topic in the Salesforce Help. Or visit the Salesforce Success Community at success.salesforce.com. Thanks for using Salesforce.